students this is a class for ba part 1st english literature we are doing a critical summary of the essay of travel by francis bacon as we all know francis bacon is the father of english essays and he was a parliamentarian uh, and a contemporary to shakespeare although he studied law but he was more interested in literature science and philosophy his major writings are the advancement of learning which he wrote in 1605 then he wrote history of henry 7th which was published in 1622 and his most famous work essays which were published thrice 1597 1615 and 1625 and one of his major works is the new atlantis and magna insta ratio which is written in latin language and in this manner we know that lord bacon francis uh, was his uh, short name first name he he is considered as one of the most eminent writers in english uh, who wrote the prose with so much precision uh, this essay particularly of travel uh, it is uh, didactic in tone uh, lord bacon presents useful hints about traveling and the significance of traveling he has told about places and scenes which are worth visiting in this essay and he presents a list of do's and don'ts about travel his style is very compact and simple and if we talk about the summary of the essay uh, we can say that uh, bacon says that travel is a part of education and experience that is to say it educates you when you travel uh, abroad and it enhances your experiences in life talking about young men on travel he says that young people should travel with a guide in a foreign country so that they can learn what is worth seeing and worth seeking over there if you are on a sea voyage it is better to make a diary diaries are useful for noting down about the memorable things which you visit in a foreign country for example he gives you a hint that you should definitely visit the courts of a foreign land the courts of justice as well as the princes you should also visit the uh, places of worship like churches monasteries temples or uh, other other uh, worshipable places you should also go to observe monuments fortification of that country by harbors ruins libraries colleges armories arsenals warehouses and treasuries you should also observe the weddings and funerals of a particular country so that you can know the rituals uh, used in that country uh, these things should not be neglected they should definitely be observed when you are on a visit to foreign nation but he also guides you what you should do before you start a journey before travel you should acquire functional knowledge of the language of that country means if you are visiting a foreign nation and if you know the basic structures of that country basic structures of the language of that country it will be uh, better and you should also try to find a guide and you should also have a guide book of the place you are going to visit and 
if you are on a visit to a particular city you should keep changing the place of your lodging so that you can observe every part of that famous city uh, you should lodge to different parts of the same place it will enhance your experience of that particular country by travel one benefits by sharing the experiences of other people you should make acquaintances in that country and as far as possible you should avoid quarrel or quarrelsome people and he also guides you to keep uh, the the acquaintances intact by writing letters to them letter writing was considered a very good art in those days and it was a means to make friends the experience of travel should be manifested through words and not by your dress or gestures and when you return this advice is very important to note that bacon gives he you should not adopt foreign manners when you visit a foreign country so this is the gist or you can say the summary of the the essay of travels now you can read the essay and if you find any problem you can contact me you can uh, whatsapp me your problems thank you very much